10. Hello everybody, it's Miss Nan from the Brazil Public Library and we have an Easter craft for you today. So let's get right to it. The materials that we need are Easter eggs, plastic ones, and you want to make sure that the eggs that you get have the two holes on both the top and the bottom because that's how we're going to make our bunnies and our carrots. You're going to need little pom-poms for your tails on your bunnies. You're gonna need some pipe cleaners in the various colors I like to match. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And I am going to use just a marker for the eyes. But if you wanna use googly eyes, make sure you have googly eyes and some glue. But for today, we're just gonna use our marker. So, we're gonna start out with our first one. Let's start with purple. If you pop your egg open, you grab just one of your pipe cleaners and we're going to fold it in half, make sure it's even, and then we're going to cut it in half. Now, by feeding into just one of the holes, we're going to put both of these pipe cleaners into this hole. And we're going to push it through. Now, on the inside, you want to take the two ends and you just want to twist them together so they don't come back out. So without pulling them too far, I'm just going to twist them up in there. I know, hard to see guys, but I think you get the idea. And then we have one here. Okay? We're going to do the same through the other hole. And this is quick and easy. Pretty much if they can twist the pipe cleaners, they can make this. So we're going to stick both of these in the one hole again and just repeat what we did on the first one. Yeah, let's twist these up inside. And then shape our bunny ear. So there's the top. Just like that. Then, here comes the harder part. We're going to take almost all of this, cut off about maybe three inches of it, and we're going to make the feet. But this time, we're going to put one in each hole. So it's kind of like that. And just like we did on the top, we're going to hold them and twist them together. And that locks them in. Now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to click it shut. We're going to bend these forward. And we're going to use like our finger here at the side to form it to the back. Same thing here. Twist around and you end up almost a heart shape. Now, what this does is it will hold the bunny up. Not staying completely because what really helps is the puff ball. But before we get to the puff ball, we are going to draw our face on it. So, I highly suggest you draw the nose on first. Just a little triangle. Put your whiskers. That. And then we're going to draw a couple eyeballs on it. And you can give it eyelashes, you can make it smile, you can put a mouth on it if you'd like. Okay? And last but not least, we're going to glue our puff ball on the back. So, if you're using liquid glue, you want a good dot. When you check your puff ball out, you'll see that they're not perfectly round. There is a natural little flat spot on the puff balls. Find it and put your glue right there. And my glue doesn't want to come out. I'll be right. All right, got the glue open. It works a lot better when it's open. So once again, we're going to find the natural flat spot on our puff ball. We're going to put a little bit of a blob and we're going to attach it to the back to the lower edge. And we're gonna hold it there 
for just a couple minutes to make sure that our glue sticks. Now, while it's drying, it should hold itself up just like that. If you want, you want a bent ear, it's easy to just bend your pipe cleaner. If you do it too much, unbend it, straighten it back out, go again. So the pink's going to work the same way. So let's quickly move on to making our carrot. We're going to use just green with it. And this time, I want you to draw your face on first. Now, on these, I put the fat end of the egg down. This time, we're going to do it the opposite way. You know, because carrots start out fatter at the top and go skinny. We're going to draw our face on. And on this one, I am putting a mouth. And like I said, you can use Google Eyes if you have them. But not everybody has Google Eyes at home. And I'm going to put just a smile. And there's the face of my carrot. So, on this one, we're going to pop it open. And we're going to do these from the inside. And it doesn't matter really how many you use. I'm going to use two different colors of green. I'm going to leave them long. And I'm going to poke them through one hole. And then I'm going to poke them through the other hole. And if you have to, you can do one at a time. Because sometimes they get stubborn and just don't want to work with you. Like this one right now. So I'll put one through. I'll feed the next one next to it. And I'm going to pull it completely up like that. Looks a little hairy right now, doesn't it? Here's all we're going to do once I pop this back together is we're going to take all of them and we're going to give it a twist. Then you can trim this however you want it. And I think I'm going to give it a bit of a spiky do. Clean up my mess. And there's my carrot. That's all there is to it. So have fun making them. Take a picture of what you make. And have a fabulous Easter, everybody. Bye.